Ian Roylands from Entourage here, um, and today we're going to go through what a break cost is for a fixed loan. Um, due to the record low fixed rates uh, we're seeing at the moment, we are seeing a bit of inquiry come through for people who have fixed in in the past and, and may look to uh, get out and uh, take advantage of these low rates. So, it's look, it's just not as easy as just um, giving you a figure. We do need to speak to your particular lender, and it is um, calculated over a formula which you can see on the screen. It's um, not a very easy formula to work through unless you're uh, a math genius. Um, basically, what we need to find out is, um, you know, what your fixed loan is. The dollar amount is important. Um, the time remaining on your fixed loan is important, and where the bank's um, money is at the time. So, let's say you're fixed in at three point nine nine percent, and the bank might be selling their money at two point one nine percent at the moment. There's a bit of a gap there, so. That's a very simplistic way of working it out, but they're going to look at your loan amount um, times by that difference in money from the 3.99 to the 2.19 and the time remaining. So um, obviously that's a very simple way that I've worked it out. Um, you can see the bank does not uh, take that simple approach, but it's something along those lines of um, how you work it out. So it can be anything from you know $1,000 up to $50,000 I've seen. So. Um, the more you have borrowed and the longer the term and the higher the rate, the more that fee is going to be. So best case is, and the only way you can really do it is um, call your broker to find out for you or speak directly to the bank. Thanks.